Some of you saw a video I posted over a year ago about a bear digging up yellow jacket nests, getting attacked and stung. I've had a few people request that I tell the story about what happened and how I got that video. So we'll do a quick show and tell here. It all started when I was walking right through here. I could hear something moving back in the brush. When I looked back to see what it was, all I could see were two black ears sticking up above the brush, moving toward me. Then when it got close enough, I could see it was a bear. The bear didn't seem to know what to do about me being there. And I was trying to decide what I wanted to do about the bear being there. But after a few minutes of interacting, we started to develop some rapport and develop some trust for each other. I would like to say we became friends, but I think it's more likely the bear just learned to tolerate my presence. Neither of us acted like we were a threat to each other, and eventually the bear started walking that way. It didn't look like it was in a hurry, so I started following it. After following the bear for about a quarter of a mile, we finally got to this place. The bear stopped here and started sniffing around. It was acting like it knew there was something here that it wanted. I didn't know what it was looking for, but I soon found out. Found it. The bear knew it was around here somewhere. A yellow jacket nest. Yellow jackets are predatory social wasps that build their nests underground. When disturbed, they aggressively defend their nests with their painful, venomous stings. They're not like bees, they don't make honey. What the bear is after is the yellow jacket larva inside the nest. After it got a mouthful of nest full of yellow jacket larva, the bear did a sliding roll down the hill to try to rub off some of the yellow jackets. When it got to the bottom, it went into the bushes, then went up the other hill. But what did I do? What do you think I did? I followed it. It's not every day I make friends with a bear. Five or 10 minutes later, when I caught up with the bear again, it was right here and it found another yellow jacket nest. The bear was struggling to get to this nest because it was buried down between some big rocks. And it still hasn't quite found the right spot yet. There you go, now you found them. The bear endures the painful stings for a meal of yellow jacket larva.
The bear got what it wanted, a mouthful of yellow jacket nest with the larva inside. After that, it just continued walking that way. I'm guessing it just went about its way digging up yellow jacket nests, which seems like a hard way to have to make a living. If you're ever feeling down about your life, look on the bright side. At least you don't have to dig up yellow jacket nests. And now you know the rest of the story.